how to make brewing potions and pocket edition much more convenient. Hello everyone and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. When brewing potions, it can be a pain in the butt to go back and forth to get each item you need in order to brew potions. There's not really that many ingredients that you need to brew all of the potions in the game of Minecraft. So I have a pocket edition tip for you on how to construct something that will make it a lot simpler for you to brew. Now, all you have to do is add a few items into the hopper and then they're right there. It makes everything semi-automatic. So let's show off how to make it. So first off, we have to realize that this can only be built inside of uh, Pocket Edition. This cannot be built in any other way. So uh, I have this little chest here full of water bottles because those are actually really difficult to get in creative mode. The first thing that we're going to have to do is put down the chest that the uh, potions are going to end up being put inside. So we're going to put down a chest and then put a hopper on the back of that and then on top of that hopper is where our brewing stand will go. Now uh, we need to put in the way that the water bottles are going to get to the brewing stand. So we're going to put a hopper onto the front of that. This chest will still be able to open uh, because of uh, that being a transparent block. We're going to go ahead and jump up onto this block here and then place a chest on top of the hopper. Next, we need to put a hopper into the back of uh, this or into the top of this brewing stand. And this will be where our ingredients will start to go into. I'm actually going to go ahead and jump over to this chest right here and then go ahead and crouch. Sometimes in Pocket Edition, uh, figuring out where you can crouch is uh, so, sort of the hardest part of uh, building. Now, I, I just also uh, added a hopper pointing into this other hopper so that uh, our ingredients will go from this hopper that my finger is on right now over into this hopper and then down into the, uh, the brewing stand. We can get rid of, well, actually we don't have to get rid of that block because that block will be useful later. Now we need to add droppers which will go into our, uh, our system here. I'm gonna kind of build a little platform here to stand on top of and place you and you and you and you. There we go. So these droppers do need to face into these hoppers. So we're gonna put one, whoops, and we're trying to click around that hitbox, which is a little bit difficult. No, that's not where I wanted you. We want you on that block. There we go. And then on that block. And both of those point into uh, there. And then we're going to go ahead and jump onto this block so that we can. I'll probably need to uh, oops, uh, place a block like that so that I can. Boop. No, it needs to be facing upwards. So we got to get it just right. There we go, finally got it to uh, face up. Now we need to set up our redstone. By the way, you'll notice that I did not put any water bottles into that chest as of yet because uh, they'll just flow through the system without the redstone uh, enabled and uh, put in place. So we are going to first put down some blocks in this manner and then we need one block onto that uh, back there and then also another block we can actually destroy these blocks we don't need them anymore and then one block onto the dropper right there now we'll need a redstone torch off of that block and some redstone dust back there and this will lock our system it's going to lock the hoppers and the droppers so that uh, nothing will run through now on the front we will need a wooden button very important that it is wooden and now we're going to add the ingredients so what's going to happen is uh this first uh, right here, this first dropper is going to have our nether wart. This second dropper is going to have whatever ingredient you want, the first ingredient you want your potion to be. Remember, uh, you will have to know some of the ingredients for potions. We're going to make a healing two potion. And then this right here will be your, uh, your third ingredient, which is sort of like the extra bonus ingredient. 
So here's what we are going to do. The first ingredient always has to be uh, nether wart. So we're going to add some nether wart over there. The next ingredient is going to be glistening melon, and that will allow us uh, to make that health potion. And then the last one will be some glowstone, and that will upgrade that uh, healing potion. So now we're going to go ahead and grab our water bottles. So many water bottles. There we go. Oh my gosh, there's so many more. Do I have the inventory space? I don't. Uh, and then place them into our chest over here. The first run through, uh, it it fills the, whoops, get out of there, glistening melon. It fills the uh, item hopper and then it also fills the brewing stand full of water bottles. And the way that this will work, it'll release those water bottles uh, down below. So our first run inside of this chest, we're going to get three water bottles. That's just how it works. So we go ahead and push the button. Boop. And what happens is all of the hoppers get released and then they place all of the items uh, where they need to go. And here we see some water being transferred into awkward potions and one nether wart. And then in the hopper just above it, uh, ooh, it's really hard to get. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to get to that hopper, but it has uh, first the glistening melon and then the uh, the dust. Oh, somehow it got the dust first. Once that is all done and uh, it has gone through the entire brew cycle. Let's see. So we have these uh, finished potions. Remember, you could also make that last one. It could be uh, gunpowder to make it splash potion or something like that. Then if we hit the button again, you'll see back back there. The potions have switched out and now we are back into water uh, and and the potions that we had. Remember, we're going to have three water bottles and then we should have the three potions in the chest down below. Very simple and very cool. Let's triple check that our yeah, see, this is doing it correctly. I'm not exactly sure why we got that dust that one time. Um, so that is an easy and quick way to make a potion automation machine. I hope that this is a very useful design for you, especially if your world is new and you don't have a lot of resources to make it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give the video a big ol' thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. Are you going to build this in your world? And then also make sure you subscribe for more content, youtube.com slash omgcraft. That's what this channel is all about. We do nothing else. Well, sometimes a little bit of gameplay, but mostly tutorials. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye!